A massive and destructive volcanic eruption will rock the world in the coming months, bringing doom for humanity, scientists warn. <laughs> Hidden magma chambers, rising temperatures, and global climate implications are now under intense scrutiny. The stakes extend far beyond the American West, and the time frame may be shorter than previously thought. A detailed geophysical study published in the journal Nature by the United States Geological Survey USGS, has refined our understanding of the Yellowstone supervolcano, revealing new insights into its subsurface magma dynamics. Concurrently, climatological assessments by researchers like Marcus Stoffel, University of Geneva, have renewed the debate surrounding the global systemic risks posed by a potential super-eruption, not only at Yellowstone, but also at several other active volcanic complexes around the world. The USGS 2025 analysis used electromagnetic imaging techniques to measure the electrical conductivity of rocks beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Because molten rock is significantly more conductive than solidified magma, this method allows researchers to map the three-dimensional distribution of partially molten zones at high resolution. These findings suggest that the Yellowstone magmatic system is not monolithic. Instead, it consists of heterogeneous melt pockets embedded within a largely solidified crust. These melt zones range in size from 2% to 30% and are spatially isolated. Most of the magma is concentrated in the northeastern part of the caldera, where 400 to 500 cubic kilometers of rhyolite magma is present, an amount exceeding the volume produced by the Mesa Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago. The heat source beneath this magma is basaltic intrusions from the mantle, which continue to support and gradually expand these melt zones. Although current data indicate no single connected reservoir, Progressive heating may eventually lead to connectivity between magma pockets, increasing the potential for large-scale eruptions. Historically, Yellowstone has experienced three major eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, Huckleberry Ridge, Mesa Falls, and Lava Creek. The average interval between these eruptions, approximately 735,000 years, is often misinterpreted as a predictive cycle. In reality, eruption timing is not periodic, and small sample sizes limit statistical validity.
Nevertheless, climatologist Marcus Stoffel and related risk researchers estimate a approximately 16% probability of a VEI-7 or higher eruption globally before 2100. This probability is based on stochastic modeling of volcanic systems, global eruption frequency data, and observed increases in subcrustal magmatism across various volcanic zones. A Yellowstone supereruption would likely follow a multi-phase eruptive cycle. Evidence from past events, including the 630,000-year-old Lava Creek eruption, suggests that smaller precursor eruptions may occur years or decades before the main event. These initial phases are potentially explosive but localized, driven by shallow magma pockets. Once eruptive connectivity is established across the melt zone, eruptions will accelerate. The highly viscous, gas-rich rhyolitic magma would produce a Plinian-style ash column that would reach the stratosphere within minutes. The eruption column would periodically collapse, triggering pyroclastic density currents, PDCs, capable of traveling greater than 300 kilometers per hour and devastating an area within a 100 kilometers radius.